I've raced a lot more this year long course than I did last year, so I've pretty much had the race strategy down. And I guess you can kind of see that in the splitting. I just, actually, the cleanest split tuner back I've ever had is 8-9, 9-2, 9-2, just pretty close to my ideal split. It's just a little bit off in the first 50 and third 50. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it'll be a good race. I'm really glad I just went through the motions really well. You can never underestimate American backstroke yep. coming into the final. I just you got to assume someone else is going to step up. Ever since NCs kind of started getting really fast in the morning, I just I always wanted to be ready to go in the morning and just going like a kind of lackluster 201, 200 in the morning never really got me, it didn't really do anything for me for the final, it didn't set me up at all, so it's nice to practice like a solid strong swim in the morning. I think that's just good good practice for like a meet like this where I can take it really easy and go on 157 just feeling really confident for that final rather than messing around and go like a 159 and not really know where I'm at. It's great. I'm pretty much, I think I was 100th off my best time from last year at Trials and faster than I was at the Olympics and I just, I think it's a really good spot to be and that I have three more weeks to kind of figure out that front half speed. I, my speed Speed hasn't been quite where I want it this year, so we'll see if I can tone, t tune that up a little bit as I get to Budapest. <laughs>